what really happens to Kelsey Grammer star in Cheers. Kelsey Grammer was born Alan Kelsey Grammer on February 21, 1955, in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, the son of Sally, a singer and actress, and Frank Allen Grammer Jr. a musician and owner of a coffee shop and a bar and grill called Greer's Place. He had one younger sister, Karen. Grammer's personal life has been surrounded by family tragedies. He was raised by his mother and maternal grandparents in New Jersey. The family later relocated to Pompano Beach, Florida and, shortly afterward, when Kelsey was 12 years old, his grandfather died of cancer. In 1968, his father was murdered in a home invasion. In 1975, his sister was kidnapped, raped, and murdered in Colorado Springs. In 1980, his two half-brothers died in a scuba diving accident. Grammer attended Pine Crest School, a private preparatory school in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It was there that he first began to sing and perform on stage. From the age of 16, with his mother's approval, he began to smoke a pipe. Grammer won a scholarship to the Juilliard School. He was a member of Group 6 from 1973 to 1975. Due to his sister's murder, Grammer failed to attend classes and was eventually expelled. According to his interview with the Cayman Compass in 2019, Grammer described himself as a Caribbean kid who was born in St. Thomas, USVI, and I have been back and forth a lot, gone to the Bahamas a lot, St. John and the Virgin Islands and the BVI. Kelsey Grammer married four times he married, in turn, Doreen Alderman, Leanne Shuany, Camille Donatacci, Katie Walsh, and a total of seven children. After leaving Juilliard, Grammer had a three-year internship with the Old Globe Theater in San Diego in the late 1970s. He made his Broadway debut in 1981 as Lennox in Macbeth, taking the lead role when Philip Anglim withdrew after receiving negative reviews. Grammer then played Michael Cassio in a Broadway revival of Othello, with James Earl Jones and Christopher Plummer. In 1983 he performed in the demo of the Stephen Sondheim James Lapini production Sunday in the Park with George, starring Mandy Patinkin. Through the sadness of his family, he chose an acting career as a friend. In 1984, Grammer first appeared as Dr. Fraser Crane in the NBC sitcom Cheers. Cheers were created by James Burroughs and aired on NBC from September 30, 1982, to May 20, 1993. The show is set in a bar named Cheers in Boston where a group of locals meets to drink, relax, and socialize. The character of Frasier first appears in the third season and continues to appear until the final season of the series, which aired in May 1993. Grammer has provided the voice of Sideshow Bob on The Simpsons, winning an Emmy Award for his work in the episode The Italian Bob, his fifth Emmy win. He has appeared in 18 episodes from the show's inception in 1989 through 2015's Treehouse of Horror 26. In September 1993 the character became the center of the spin-off Frasier which became one of the most successful spin-offs in television history. In addition to starring, he also directed more than 30 episodes, especially during the second half of the series, and sang the closing theme Tossed Salads and Scrambled Eggs. Frasier was nominated for and won many awards during its 11-year run, concluding in May 2004. In the show, Frazier has moved from Boston to Seattle and works as a radio psychiatrist alongside his producer Roz. The show also starred David Hyde Pierce as Niles, Frazier's brother, and John Mahoney as the father, Martin Crane. Jane Leaves plays his father's health care worker Daphne Moon. The show was a critical hit and received the most primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Comedy Series. The record has never been broken with Modern Family tying the record. Grammer himself received 11 consecutive Primetime Emmy Award nominations for his role in Frasier, winning four times, 
tying him with Carol O'Connor, Michael J. Fox, and Jim Parsons for the most wins for Primetime Emmy Award for Best Actor in a Comedy Series. In 1995, Grammer voiced Dr. Frankenali in the Mickey Mouse short Runaway Brain where it was nominated for Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film. He later starred in the lead role as Lieutenant Commander Thomas Tom Dodge in the film Down Periscope. And voiced Vladimir Vlad Vanya Voinitsky Vasilovich in the 20th Century Fox's critically acclaimed animated movie Anastasia. In 1999, Grammer voiced Stinky Pete in Pixar's Golden Globe Award-winning Toy Story 2. He also provided voice work for several other animated television series and direct-to-video films, such as Barbie of Swan Lake, Bartok the Magnificent. The title character in the short-lived animated series Gary the Rat, and the narrator of Mickey Mouse, Once Upon a Christmas. He also voiced Dr. Ivan Crank in the theatrically Disney film Disney's Teacher's Pet. In 2000, Grammer again played Macbeth on Broadway, in a production that closed after only 10 days. In 2001, he negotiated a $700,000 per episode salary for Frasier. The series lasted 11 seasons running from 1993 to 2004. His 20-year run playing Dr. Fraser Crane ties a length set by James Arness in playing Marshall Matt Dillon on Gunsmoke from 1955 to 1975. In 2004, he played Ebenezer Scrooge in the musical television film A Christmas Carol. In 2005, Grammer returned to television. He produced and appeared in an American adaptation of the British show The Sketch Show, which aired on Fox. Next in 2007, he starred with Patricia Heaton in the American sitcom Back to You, which Fox cancelled after its first season. His next attempt, ABC's Hank, fared even worse. It was cancelled after only five episodes had aired. Grammer later commented, Honestly, it just wasn't very funny. On April 18, 2010, Grammer made his Broadway musical debut playing the role of Georges in a revival of the Jerry Herman Harvey Fierstein musical La Cage Ox Fall at the Longacre Theatre. He starred alongside Douglas Hodge for which they both were nominated for Tony Awards for Best Performance by a Leading Actor in a Musical. Grammer was described by critics as equally fine, delivering an assured and charming leading turn. With non-stop efforts in 2011 and 2012, Grammer found temporary success in the Stars drama series Boss as a fictional mayor of Chicago in the mold of Richard J. Daly which premiered in October 2011. It was his first dramatic TV series. At the 2012 Golden Globe Awards, Kelsey Grammer won the award for Best Actor in a Television Series Drama for his role on Boss. The show ran for 18 episodes over two seasons. In 2014 Grammer returned to sitcom television in partners with comedian Martin Lawrence. Later that same year, Grammer starred in several films such as Bonaparte in The Expendables 3 and as Harold Adinger in Transformers, Age of Extinction. The following year in 2015, he played Buckley in Best of Enemies, the National Geographic TV film Killing Jesus as Herod the Great, and as Harry Hamilton in the Netflix film Like Father with Kristen Bell. In March 2015, Grammer originated the roles of Charles Froman and Captain Hook in the Broadway premiere of the musical Finding Neverland continuing with the roles through June 28, 2015. He returned to the stage from January 19 to April 3, 2016. Most recently he made an appearance in the West End production of Big Fish. In 2016, Grammer won a Tony Award as a producer of The Color Purple. In 2019, Grammer starred as Don Quixote in a production of Man of La Mancha at the London Coliseum. That is the story about him. Please comment below for the discussion, helping us to develop better. Finally, wish you a lot of joy in life.